Welcome to another episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Saga. In this series, Farf and I open 10 Master Packs and 10 Secret Packs in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel each week to try and improve our decks. After that, we'll play in a best of three match to determine that episode's winner. There is one catch though, neither player is allowed to craft any cards other than in one specific situation. The winner of the match gets an extra 5 packs the following week, while the loser is allowed to craft any one card of their choice. Also, every 5 episodes we introduce a new change to the Forbidden and Limited list where we ban and limit a handful of cards. Tune in every Wednesday at 5pm Eastern for a new episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Saga. YouTube! Welcome back to another iteration of Master Saga in which we are on a hot, fiery 1-0 streak. We did it. We managed to claw back and win a game through double Ice Dragon. So, 10 packs this week. I don't really know what we're looking for. Uh, I'm, you know, it's probably, you know, obvious I'm going to play the same deck again, most likely. Just because of how strong it is. And, uh, you know, no trap cards this week, so that's very cool. Uh, but maybe we can find something interesting to uh, sidewind into here. Here is our first ultra rare, which is... Well, our super is going to be State Sailor Romarin. That sucks. And our ultra is... Ooh, that's pretty useless, isn't it? Yeah, that's pretty useless. <laughs> like, we don't have any synchro-related card. No Hulk, no, like, anything. Like, yeah, no, that's, that's, that's unfortunately not going to be very good. Okay, give me some uh, generic staples. Selaglare the Luminous Lunar Dragon. I guess we can play Monarchs, maybe, right? And on this one, we have a Boogie Trap. Discard two cards and target a trap in your grave and set it. That's a, that's a BA card right there, bro. And de nada? De nada. Can I get more than like one ultra though, please? A Vanades of the Nordic Ascent and Kizan. Wisdom Eye Magician. Hang on a gosh darn momento. Are we on to something here? That's an interesting secret pack. Pack numero nueve is a super of Xerophine. And last card is Pseudospace. I think this is like my fourth or fifth copy. Okay, this uh, unfortunately kind of sucked. We got one Ultra and it was like probably not very playable in a sealed environment. Could this be the first week without a secret pack? We don't actually have a rule in place for what happens if we don't get a secret pack. I guess we just open 10 more master packs. I'm not even really sure. <laughs> so hopefully the two secret packs that we maybe unlock here are good enough to carry us. And we got baited on the first pack. It's not a hollow. Um, yeah, oh, Kyoto Waterfront is very good, actually. That's a really good field spell. By the way, don't forget to that the uh, rule change for this episode is no trap cards, so we cannot play any trap cards in our decks today. I'm actually so worried about not pulling a secret pack. We're just gonna have to, like, go into whatever the last one has. Not every hollow unlocks a secret pack. Oh, we do have a hollow here. <laughs> okay. We might be playing Seal Swarms today. <laughs> Hopefully the uh, Evil Swarms are in this pack. Oh, this is rough. This is not good. Underdog, that's fun. Maybe this one will give us a secret pack that isn't Evil Swarms? Is this the Red Dragon Archfiend pack? Or is this just a random super rare? It's not? Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay, okay, here we go. Here we go. Random rarity upgrade. Please show me a good pack. I mean, Monarchs are really bad in Seal- <gasps> Royal Rare Tenacity? I mean, now we gotta go for Monarchs. I mean, it might be the only playable pack here. <laughs> we do have a craft this week, so we could craft, like, whatever Ultra we didn't pull. Oh, two Hollows. Book of Moon, fantastic. Evo Diversity. Interesting. Book of Moon, this is, like, the best episode to pull this card because it's a quick play spell. YouTube! Do, do I need to do this uh, intro every time? Probably not. You probably are quite sick of this after 15 episodes. But we've been into Virtual World Pack before, and we unlocked the secret pack with our, of course, fourth pseudo space. because why wouldn't we pull the same garbage card multiple times? We go back in here and try and get Nyans and Lulus. We might have a playable strategy. All right, looks quite okay. So, bunch of supers, again, hopefully not pseudo spaces. That is exactly, specifically, precisely not what we're looking for. Uh, we got a Zhuanwu. I don't know how many of these we already have. Our Ultra is indeed 
going to be up here it is long long and a second jiju this one is a rank three that cannot be targeted with card effects and when they activate the effect of monster with an attribute that is not on their field while they control a face up monster detach to and negate it not terrible that also gets our third copy of chuche which is very relevant i think we have finally pulled our first Qinglong. we're just looking for lulus and yan yans Okay, that could have been a Shen Shen. I don't think we need three Jijus. All right, this is no longer a Shen Shen deck. This is now a Jiju deck. Yes, can't be uh, destroyed by battle or card effects. I'm sure that's probably very good. Oh, Flying Z. Finally, another Qinglong as well. Wow, we're getting all the Qinglongs today. Oh, God. Oh, there's one from the pack here, actually. This super is a Delta Magna Warrior. And this one is... Fan Fan. Okay, this is another good new egg and boss monster. So the virtual deck is looking very strong in terms of extra. Come on, where is the Lulus? Lulu? Mod check? Nope, not from this pack, it looks like. We have 9 out of 10 packs here and no Lulus or Nyan Nyans. That's kind of rough. I'm going to be real with you. Come on, baby. Oh, finally, we got one of them. It is Nyan Nyan. So bonus packs, I think we're just going to use five in here. One Lulu is all we're looking for. Yay. Bonus pack number two. Nope, not in here. But it is from the, nah, not from the pack. It is a Dugaris. Oh, that's a good card, I guess. By the way, we don't even need Lulu specific. Well, we don't need it. But like, you know, we could, we could also get Shen Shen. Nope. Oh. Please don't be Jiju. Please don't be Jiju. Please don't be Jiju. Please, please, Lord God, don't be Jiju. Oh. Wait, I already have this. Oh, my God. Okay, final pack. Yep, nothing. Okay, I'm going to go deck build. I think trying to pull Gizmek is a really good idea, though. We're going to go Karakuri just to try to pull Gizmek. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Today is not my day with these pulls, huh? Maybe we'll get some rarity upgrades. Wow, we got a lot of rarity upgrades in that pack. Gizmex also have a uh, Lone Fire Blossom too, which is pretty good. This might be my worst opening yet. Rarity upgrade? Not to Ultra though. Shit. Okay. And we actually got baited off that. I don't want to fall for it again. Okay, nice. Very good card. We can't play it today, but very good card. Sure. I don't know if we're pulling enough Karakuris to actually make a Karakuri deck, but the uh, Ninja is like a good man-eater bug. Okay, we have three copies of it now. That's not bad. We probably will just play like some sort of Chaos deck today. That is a very good pull. That might be the best pull in the episode so far. <laughs> One of the Synchros would make a difference. Oh, two supers, one out of the pack, one not. Absolute zero, and okay. Only one copy of this, though. Might be kind of tough to play the deck. Two more packs left. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is not going well, you bet. <laughs> That's funny. Zombie Master, last pack. Iron Wall. Oh, Narito. Oh, another Uka. Not the greatest episode for pulls that we've had so far. We're going to have to... Uh, figure out what deck we can actually play. <laughs> oh, no ultras in that pack either. So both packs didn't have a single ultra rare. I did not pull any ultra rares in this episode. YouTube! I'm doing this intro for the third time. Damn it, I forgot. He's just licking his balls, don't mind him. So this is uh, Code Talkers, yeah. Um, so the biggest weakness with this deck, unfortunately, uh, was back row and trap cards. So... Now that we've managed to spin, or rather uh, pull from the duck, the deck, the, the yep, ducks, the deck of lucky cards and challenges, no trap cards are allowed this week. Makes this substantially stronger. Well, hopefully it's that simple. Yeah. <laughs> See you in the duel. Okay, so let's craft the number 100. We somehow have number 97 and a uh, number 46, so we actually can do the number 100 combo. This deck has a ton of level 8 monsters, so I think it makes sense. This is basically the 60 card deck that we played last week, but without the trap cards. We've added some new tech, though. We have Unexpected Die for just a free special summon. We even have a tuner that we can bring out off of that. And we also have a one-time passcode, which we have two copies of, which can help us uh, synchro summon or link summon too. So this could be really bad, but I think it actually has a lot of potential. Maybe this will be the week that we finally win with 60 60 cards. All right, ready to go? Ready to go. I will choose to go second if you uh, win the coin toss. That's interesting because it's the first coin toss, so... Oh! 
That is how that works, yes. That is how that works. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, it's a good thing I won anyway. Smile. Yeah. Never okay, Doug, let's see what you've got. That's another pile, yeah, isn't it? Go. Isn't it? Oh my god, it always is. Why? What? This is. Just I, have... I can't. I had a hard time narrowing it down to 60. Dude, we had to cut traps this week. It's like, how many are you are you going to uh, try and get rid of? Oh, wow, okay. Back on the harpies? Let's go for Queen's Knight. Like, bro, are you playing King, Queen, and Jack? <laughs> <laughs> That's great. No. That's absolutely fantastic. Oh my Let's god. Go I hope you have the combo. Normal <laughs> Bro, did you pull Hulk or something? Activate D. Are you fucking kidding me? The Thunderbird <laughs> discarded itself? No, it's all over now. Oh my god. <laughs> Brother, I am. What L. are the odds, dude? What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> well, the odds are 33%. It's yeah, it's one in three. It's one in three. Oh, see, if you made Stardust first, you would have oh made my... it 25%. Well, this looks way worse now. <laughs> what? What is um, your deck? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe I discarded the Thunderbird. Like, oh, oh my god. gosh. Show them the combo with for Stardust. Sure I would summon the Thunderbird right there. Oh my ah, god. fuck. <laughs> I'm just dead to access code already. Yep, you are. On the plus side, um, you've shown a very cool combo, I yeah. think. Yeah, yeah, I really showed off a nice combo there. Um, Thunderbird, discard Thunderbird, don't pop it. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, I mean, if you made the thing first, you would have had an uh, extra what's it called, right? Oh, if I would have made Charge Warrior first? Yeah, but like... Uh, yeah, you would have had, a, I guess, maybe a statistically higher chance. Yeah, I didn't think about that. And uh, I wasn't sure if I wanted to revive. Yeah, I definitely should have done that. No, you're right. I honestly did not consider that Thunderbird would ever miss. I just thought, you know, you reveal it. <laughs> and then it special summons I just, I just didn't consider that fact. It was just, it was never gonna miss. Yeah. Like, like how did? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, we're actually just dead. To fucking access code update chamber. In two I seconds. think I know what the next uh, ban is. This is gonna to be, be fair. the first. Uh, 20 minute video. Yeah, so people were asking why I banned Mirror Force instead of Access Code Talker. The Cybris episode, I think you went 0 2, so I didn't see it as a threat, and I was like, well, outside of the Cybris deck, which I've shown isn't very good because I 2 0'd it, uh, how else can you make Access Code Talk? Oh, and you have Smashing Gun. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, that's completely unnecessary, but I appreciate the play. Uh, <laughs> Sorry for the BM. <laughs> but uh, I wasn't thinking that, like, after the bans, like, the cyber stack would be better because I don't have Gradles anymore. <laughs> Let's run it back. I am going to go first again. Sure. If okay, wow, you're determined to go again. first. That's very interesting. Yep. You're not trolling me. <laughs> no, I'm not trolling. No, I'm not trolling. I think okay, I have, like, sure. enough things to do going You first. better have some crazy combo for this, Doug. That combo would have been crazy if the Thunderbird <laughs> Watch me draw Raigeki though, you know, so... Okay. There's no way! <laughs> this There's is good! No. You know, like, Curry Bandit Pass is good- oh, I'm summoning a token? That's oh pretty cool. God, hey, green. <laughs> Wait, you're getting a token? Yeah, I just milled an O-Line. <laughs> Oh, okay, sure. Yeah, wow. this is gonna be what stops you. This O Lion token. Is gonna be... <laughs> yeah, no, I. I Chat Curry it. Bandit Pass got plenty of Sylvan players to top 16 <laughs> in the 2014 NEWCQ. I don't know what you guys are making fun of. Yeah, for sure. Ah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yep, clock. No, the clock wyvern. No, this is actually gonna be like a five minute episode. Fuck. <laughs> Rigged. No. No, it's not a five minute episode. No, why are you summoning that? What does that even accomplish? Oh my god. Oh, you need three monsters for the combo. This... Dude, bro, the video that I do you want to do best MET of seven? Like... I filmed with MET earlier today and we just did 20 of like a random secret pack. And he got the Orcus pack and he pulled like Galatea, Crescendo, three copies of the draw spell, Harp, like every Orcus card. And okay. I didn't pull very good. And then this episode. I didn't pull a single ultra rare out of any of the packs. <laughs> <laughs> At least well, for the next I'll episode. Sure show you. <laughs> oh no, not my codec. 
Uh, at least for the next episode, you have a guaranteed ultra, if you think Shut about it. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this was a great episode. Um, okay, so maybe I shouldn't have gone first, but like... I was gonna say, I really don't think you should have went first. Dude, there's so much gas in the deck. Like... Mm, true. Uh, would you like to have a game three for bonus uh, fun, I suppose? Sure. Oh wow, this card is just not once per turn. That yeah, of course. That yeah, makes of perfect course sense. Not once per turn. <laughs> that is just very obnoxious. Yeah, we can do a game three just so that the video is at twenty minutes long and people don't yeah. like, think that I <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. Uh so anyway, um here's a pack opening video <laughs> with uh I guess oh, uh, a complimentary uh Solitaire uh, test hand. This is just payback for playing Gradles. I understand. On the plus side, for you, I didn't draw Smashing Ground this time. See, I knew there was something here with this deck. You know, if you have Transcode, Update Jar, it's just three monsters, is OTK. You build a deck around it, and here we are. Especially if your it's opponent doesn't set any disruption. Not banning Access Code Talker was not the play. Yeah, I think uh, that card was just always going to be a threat at some point. Okay, we'll do a, a pity game three and I'll go second. I'm very excited yes. to get 3 0 today. <laughs> this is for you, viewers. Don't worry, we didn't make you wait a whole week just to watch uh, 10 minutes of gameplay. <laughs> oh my so, gosh. what exactly is your deck? Like, what? Shut I, I still don't know. Uh, okay, let me think. What does my deck do going first? Um, I don't know, man. What does my deck do ever? I mean, just for the sake of uh, not passing and then doing the combo next turn, uh, let's. Have a little bit of fun with it. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, this I'm like searches go... an interruption, right? So. Well, the interruption, well. Doug, is a trap card, so. <laughs> oh. I wouldn't Wait, really be I able didn't even, to like, uh... consider that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. Yes. That it's all coming together. Because I don't now. care about back row. Yeah. Right. Uh, we're gonna use this and this. We're gonna go into Code Talker and Exporter. I think you know. I'm just gonna say here now. I've tried it three times, and I'm not done with 60 card decks yet. We're still playing <laughs> 60 cards everywhere. It's still playable. Trust me, guys. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so this is where I search my trap. If you, had it. I guess. Uh, no, I have to link off the microcoder for that. Oh. oh. Yeah. Normal summon. Uh, do you know that this can be used in your hand? Yeah, I know, I know. Um, it just doesn't matter. I don't mean my. I don't need my normal this turn. <laughs> Weirdly oh. enough. I don't know if chain blocking this really matters. Probably not. Ah, oh, this is uh pretty okay, I suppose. Okay, chat. I'm now seeing that perhaps the deck decision was not wrong. Maybe it was just going first. I was really like, I know that like I didn't play any trap cards. But I was just somehow forgetting. I was like, oh, surely, like, you'll end on one interruption, like, the, um... Thing. This isn't too bad, honestly. Uh, untargetable, co-linked, big boss monsters with follow-up. Uh, I actually quite like this. This was actually not too bad going first. Hmm. This is actually really awkward, because you just pop that. Yeah, I think I'm doing 3 odd. Let's activate right, go. Oh. Banish one card. This thing doesn't target. That's so dumb. Target. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to backdoor. <laughs> okay. So this basically... Uh, it banishes my transcode until the standby phase. So I'm just gonna protect it. And I also add a card in the process from my deck to my hand, which is actually yeah. pretty good. Uh, I the shall classic. add a yup clock for next turn and go ahead and banish a card. Yeah. The face down, okay. Okay, so let's activate... Emsis Corridor. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> losses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this looks much stronger. Attack. And then attack. Go ahead. All right, fair. I feel like I'm still not fine, though. Like, you can just... Well, in all fairness, losses. Access Code Talker doesn't do a whole lot against, uh... I mean, it does. Like, I only have one protection effect. How do I make Update Jammer with this hand? You have five cards in a hand and a <laughs> codec. So board. the problem is that so Update Jammer uses level two or higher Cybers monsters, which means yeah. I need to put another level Ooh. two. I'll just see where this goes. Uh, I will go into Yup Clock here. Yup Clock. And... Is this the most summoned monster in the series? In the series. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna use Transco to bring back a Link 2. 
Hawk back Lancer. No, I don't think you're dead. Like, I, it's very hard to out Colossus, <laughs> as you could imagine. <laughs> All right, I, I CBA doing the maths on it, but let's just uh, let's just try it out here. I uh, I already fucked up. Whoopsie. All right, we're just clicking buttons now, Doug. Don't worry about it. Don't ask too many questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna tribute. Uh, I'll just bring back Code Talker. Yeah. Um. I'll just climb into like a random link three. Make access. Oh, you only have one it's, thunder. That's oh. what I can probably tell you. Yeah, it's not that. Like, it's oh. not like regular thunder. Games. See, I just didn't realize that Colossus right, just wasn't because, just like, straight immune to battle. That makes yeah, more sense. Yeah, because everyone just like figures when you play against real thunder dragons, they have <laughs> stops. Infinite for all ways that. to. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, we got it. <laughs> Took a while, we got there in the end. This mm. deck is really cool. Uh, first turn, decent setup, and of course you have your uh, access boy. Well, it was. So there, we got uh, it. 3-0 today. Back to the drawing board with the 60 card deck. <laughs> I'm not playing 60 next week. I, I promise you, I'm not playing 60. Are we doing the uh, yeah, yeah, the spin yeah, now for just... next week? Okay. It's funny because like I don't even know what's in what's in here for the most part. So. Yeah. <laughs> no, I I just wanted to keep them a secret. But a lot of these are just unknown to anyone else, which is pretty funny. Okay. okay. Here we go. Give us a good one. We got ban. Oh, interesting. Both players ban one card for the next episode. This is decided right now, by the way. The player who mm. won this episode's match chooses second. So you get the advantage of seeing what I ban before you choose what you ban. Well, <laughs> we had a good I'm streak, gonna ban I guess. Access code talker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so surprising. Oh, nay. There goes access. All right. Yeah. Um. Well, the first thing I can think of, honestly, is Ice Dragon Prison. Gotta be Are you completely... serious? You're gonna I, oh, <laughs> genuinely, I hate that card with a passion. Uh, and okay. regard and, and with next week's spoiler of you uh, deciding to not play 60, you're going to see it uh, again anyway. But I guess it doesn't matter because you got it twice in 60 regardless. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. But yeah, I, you know what? I think I'm just going to go with Ice Dragon. Yep, I'm batting oh Ice Dragon. Gosh. I don't care. Okay. Maybe That's it's fine. not correct. So... Colossus is probably better, but I'm just going yeah. with Ice Dragon. I was like, why are you going for it? But no, that's fair. Uh, yeah, so next episode only. Uh, just one episode. Uh, Axis Code Talker and Ice Dragon Prison are banned. So let's see how that goes. No more Code Talkers next week.